Try with and without, and let's hope the legs will be nice. Welcome to the end. As you would have known from the last video, this cut has been in preparation for a photo shoot. That photo shoot is tomorrow, which I am so excited for. Now today is really important. High carbs, depleting water, shave and spray tan. And obviously you can see by my face and my hair, I'm not looking the best right now. So let's go change that. There we go, much better. Fresh new cut and a new shave. So last night I shaved most of my body. This includes chest and arms. However, we still have the legs, which are looking mighty juiced, by the way. Oh my God. So let's go change that. Oh my God, we have finally done the shaved. Why does shaving your legs always take like a million years? Okay, so now I'm just gonna have a shower before Anna comes over and helps me with my back. So Anna gladly came over to help me shave and moisturize. Now she's amazing for this, thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to do this without her. Now after we shaved, I went on to moisturize what I could reach and then she went on to moisturize the rest of my body that I could not reach. Then I chucked some shoes on because we both had to leave around the same time. She had to go to work and I had to meet Jake at the gym. So once again, Anna has helped me heaps with this prep. So can we just please get a thanks Anna in the comments because she's amazing. Then I got my bag packed and we said goodbye to Anna before she left for work and I headed off. So we made it to the gym, now we're gonna get out and go find Jake. Which it really wasn't that hard to find him. So right after we left and went to Chadston. This is where we went jean shopping and just happened to find the perfect jeans first try. Yeah, they've got some room to work with. Yeah, but if you want it a little bit looser or it's that fine. I think you'd want them as fitted as possible so that they show off the shape of the leg. Yeah, well I feel like that's probably going to be the most fit that we can... Oh, and again, yeah, that's definitely tight. Hey. Yeah, you reckon? Oh. <laughs> So after we left Levi's, we ended up heading into Maya. This is where we looked for underwear, and we ended up getting some Calvin Klein little briefs like this. After we did that, we went into, I forgot where, and we picked up a wife beater. We were trying to look for the smallest we could, and we only ended up getting a small. And it fit quite nicely. Ooh, okay. Do a little spin. Okay, it fits really nice over the back for sure. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. It's got, it's got a looseness throughout the core, but in a way that looks natural. I mean, we could definitely get away with the size down if they had the extra small. I don't know. Can you look? Yeah. If possible, yeah. The fit is still really nice over the back, especially. I need food. I'm too tired for this right now. You know what would be amazing if I had like a GoPro set up in my car? So after leaving Chadson, we ended up going to a tanning place where we tanned my whole body. Nude, because that was fun. Yes. Yeah. However, it is so worth it because it looks so good. There we are. After a long and productive way of work, we are now back in the car with the noisy keys and we are going to head home and we're going to get some food because I am starving. High carb day, 300 grams of potatoes, and maybe a little snack. Um, so I can't wait. So we're home. So I was just chilling there and I remembered that I forgot my chain at the tanning place. That sucks. Yeah, I really like that chain. That's the one that Anna got me, but yeah. Second one already. Looks like we got another one. So, as you can see, we're all tanned up, we're all dark, and we're looking really good. So yeah, now they're all sorted, it's time to eat some food. So it was a little bit of a different experience, first time tanning. Since I am going for that type of shoot, I was told to tan nude. 
which again is fine or whatever, but for a first time, it was interesting. But we got it all done, we're looking handsome as hell. Gonna wait a few more hours before I wash the first coat off, but yeah, we're looking pretty nice. So tonight for dinner, we're just gonna have 300 grams of potatoes or something similar to 100 grams of broccoli and some salmon. I'm kind of hoping I can have a little something afterwards and probably have a little bit of high calories for today. So yeah, let's get it made. It should be right there. Well, it is. So dinner is all cooked. We have uh, 200 and almost 300 grams of potatoes. Then we have some salmon and just a little bit of broccoli because that's all I had left. Now, as for today, I think that's going to be it. There's not really much I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Might just chill on my computer for a while and watch some YouTube, play some Minecraft, some shit like that. I'm going to really enjoy this. I need it. And then some more exciting stuff happening after the shoot. But for now, we're focusing on one thing at a time. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today's the day, and my voice isn't that good at the moment, so sorry about that. Today is the day of the photo shoot. Everything has come up to this point. I'm all tanned, I'm looking nice, I'm fully dehydrated, my mouth is really dry, and I'm weighing in at a lowest. Now, I reckon probably one of the hardest bits at the moment is going to be what I'm eating until we leave. We're going to the city around four o'clock, so I'm leaving here at about 3 p.m. And at the moment, it is quarter to 11. Is it? Yeah, that's the time. So, I'm just gonna have some very light snacks, just carbs. Maybe some pretzels, because they also work pretty well with me. However, I'm not gonna mess it up at this point. It's all come down to this, so you cannot mess it up. So I'm gonna really enjoy these crackers. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll go get ready in a second. And by in a second, I meant a few hours away because it's almost time to leave now and we're about to start packing the bag. Okay, so we're just gonna empty the gym bag so it can fit more stuff in it. Feels like I'm stealing some children's money, what the hell. Okay, so we have an SD card. I'm also just gonna grab a shirt as well. I reckon this one will do. Got a nice shirt. So I've got the wife beater. Oh, the legs though. to get my shoes. So we've got three pairs here. I'm gonna chuck two into the bag and then we're gonna chuck those ones on. I think that's everything. We're ready to go. Got the wallet, got the keys, got the phone. I think it's time. That actually looks like a pretty cool place. So after, how long was that? Four, one, one and a half hours? Yeah, something like that. One and a half hour trip, we made it. Entrance for us. That's a good way to start. So this location was the Brad Mill Denim Factory in Melbourne. And a little history on this is in 1945 the company began producing denim, becoming its own manufacturer in Australia which later led them to focus more towards the fashion industry. Either way, it was a really cool place to be. Okay, so this isn't sketch at all. Oh. There's a what? Just, yeah. <laughs> I could not say that at all. Up the stairs. Sorry, I'll get there. 
My navigation skills are too good. Oh wow. That's pretty crazy. No, I actually really like this spot, no. It's very cool. No, it's actually really cool. Like photos, view, anything, it's just a... Yeah, so you can get up through all these levels, like the stairs and all the walkways and the scaffolds. Wait, right, so what was it? A denim, a denim factory? Yes. Way back in the day. So these are all the, um, the oil machines. The second level above, you can see where those chutes come down. It's the conveyor belt that used to tip the coal oh, down into yeah, the yeah. toilets. And then the big warehouses over the way, I guess, were where they built the nuts. So I think the machine aspect in, in here is a bit cooler with all the pipes and chains and everything. And you get like these sick alcoves where you can like stand in the opening and it's like dark behind you with all the rust and everything and then the light is hitting you from the front. So it's like yeah. a natural ring light. And then you kind of see over here too as the sun moves across the building. You get all the beams of sunlight coming in through each of the windows. So it gives you that kind of hot, sweaty, working man kind of aesthetic. Yeah, no, nah, 100%. Now nah, this is actually really cool. Oh, it's in here. No, nah, that stinks. Yeah, there's probably a lot of dead birds in here. Yeah, I can imagine. This is the staircase here that goes up to the other level. Yeah, I was looking at that before. <laughs> yeah. That looks really sketchy. It's pretty sturdy. If you can hold me, it's definitely going to hold you. Oh, yeah. And I think, oh, there's a hole just down into who knows where. Remember I was talking about before. How are you with heights? Hmm. Not the best, not the worst, you know? Because mm. I was thinking some stuff on that frame there would be pretty cool. Like, not all the way at the top, but like, standing a bit higher up. And... Yeah, if anything's gonna kill me, I don't know how much I like it, but... Oh, it's worth a shot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's worth the shot. <laughs> your yeah. obliques from the side. Yeah. No, I can, I can, I can see that. Mm. That was pretty cool. Okay. Yes, I think we shall. Oh, I did do a leg day recently. <laughs> so my legs are hurting, but like, I'm used to it from work or whatever. Sketchy, sketchy stairs. They're worse coming down than they are going up. Uh, I've always thought that like, stairs are just like terrifying to go down. It's better like, fine to go up. Oh my gosh. There's more? Yeah, this is the last one. I kind of didn't even know how high we're going for a second. Whew. Oh wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hold on, yeah. If you walk up along here, yeah. you can see the shoes of the coals. Whoa. That's crazy. There's just a massive chute that was standing above. Like way before any OHS, obviously. <laughs> okay. So where do you reckon? I usually stay around this end because the sun comes through the window there. Okay, cool. I just want to set up my camera somewhere. But this is really cool.
So, I just climbed up in that thing. We got our photos. Now we're off to a location too. The car park. God, that's dull. I'm not gonna lie, kind of cold, but they look cool, so it's worth. Do you have to be back by any time? No. Do you? No. Did you want to get pizza? Yes. <laughs> or KFC, up to you, because I know that that's like your thing. Look, I'm kind of craving a pizza, but like. I'm unhappy with a pizza. If you, if yeah. Craving. You're, that... one, you're the one who's been like depleting yourself, so you should get to choose. I had KFC the other day, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's your call. I make homemade pizzas, I haven't had a proper pizza in a long time. Where's your like pizza place of choice? Do you do like a local kind of vibe or do you like Domino's okay. or like a... Okay, okay, they, they, they have their pros and cons. I agree. Like, to me, a Domino's, I don't know why, the base is just really, really nice. Something about a Domino's is really nice to have, especially the selected variety as well. I always go a cheese crust as well. Cheese, amazing as yes. well, and they're like sides and everything's really mm -hmm. nice. Oh yes, the, the cheese. However, there's, there's something about like a a nice local place. We were talking about this the other day at work, but a local pizza place, nothing beats it. They're more generous with the toppings. They are. They're more generous. It's always thicker. It's always nicer. It's ah oh, yeah. No, I don't know. And you often get like pastas as well. Yeah. No, I reckon local places are better. Mm -hmm. However, you have to get used to your local place as well. Like, it has to be your local place. It's not just any local place. So I feel like if anything, we'll just go to a Domino's, and that would probably work the best. Oh, to be fair, the Johnny Boys at Thompson Parkway slap. Johnny Boys, yes, I did. I, but no, I'm excited for pizza. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Oh, it's not open. So after we left the denim factory, we ended up going to a car park in the middle of the city. Yeah, like that there is where the war was that I used to shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. And then there, yeah, I guess that's what they're doing. Okay. Because yeah, I've also shot like in this area before as well. But yeah, we'll just go under here. Because the light comes through and you can see in that picture. Okay. Oh, that was the entrance, was it? Hmm? That was the entrance. To the room. Yeah, that's when you walk out into the room. Ah, okay, cool. Yes, much better lighting. It's kind of cold, not gonna lie. Yeah. Almost dreading taking shirt and pants off, but. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I think all the calories you'll burn to your pants will count even less. Okay, I haven't had any breakfast this morning, so. I don't really think I'm worrying about calories at the moment. Okay, so we found the spot. Time to get cold. Also, I was thinking any one of those buildings is just gonna, anyone in those buildings are just gonna look over and. Yeah, I, um, I sometimes get people having a gaze, but not too often. That's gonna be fun. After a long, hard days of work out shooting, we are finally back home and we made it all safely. And on better news, I already ate a full pizza. The full thing. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't felt this full in a long time. It feels amazing. So we have some extra garlic bread left, but I think I'm gonna save some of that for tonight because I know I'm gonna be hungry later on. Or maybe tomorrow, not really sure. However, we also did Buy some of these. These have been around for a while, but like I never knew they were a thing until the pizzas came out. So we're gonna even try, and we're going to record my live reaction of them. Okay, so we have one here. 
I went straight just with the vanilla flavor. Let me know how much better the chocolate is and the salted caramel, whatever it was, whatever the other flavor was. Um, Cause yeah, I'll probably get them next time, but vanilla. So here it goes. Yeah, tastes really good. Not as good as a Magnum. Not that I really remember what that tastes like, but no, tastes really good. Yeah, would buy again. Really nice and very low calories. Very nice. And ending it off on this note, hope you all enjoyed the video. I sure as did enjoy filming it. And until next time, hope you all have a good one and peace out.